Metamaterials are actually materials which enable this coupling of light to nanoscale, the kind of uh, uh, concentrate electromagnetic energy uh, onto nanoscale. And that's why metamaterials are important. It's something that enables, make it possible to uh, manipulate light on nanoscale. In terms of uh, applications, uh, we already have quite a promising uh, uh, what, prototype type, uh, type of experiments, demonstrations, for example, in the area of imaging. Uh, people are already demonstrating by using metamaterials, you could image details, find details of objects which are much smaller than the wavelengths, basically going beyond the fundamental diffraction limit. And so they call it like super lens or hyper lens sometimes. So this uh, better special resolution going beyond the wavelengths, that's already uh, something which started to work. And applications in the field like sensing, developing sensors which would be very small, again nanoscale, but uh, have an extremely high sensitivity to detect minute quantities of biological, chemical uh, um, objects, so molecules. So that's, uh, that's the area which already now going into the area of applications. But in the future, we expect much more than this. Without uh, quantum entanglement, quantum mechanics basically would be like wave mechanics and plus duality princip principle. And this quantum entanglement really enables kind of unusual things, uh, such as this possibility of parallel computing. And uh, the again, in terms of, of potential impact on society, it could be absolutely huge because uh, things like quantum computers, it's, it's, it's entirely different approach for something which is hard to overestimate in terms of importance. Although again, there are a number of problems to resolve in that area, de decoherence and other things, but uh, at least scientifically it seems to be possible and it could uh, make a huge, huge difference for a number of areas of applications. But also science-wise, again, uh, it's a very, very interesting, truly quantum phenomenon. And uh, it's, uh, the development in this area uh, are quite exciting uh, lately. And uh, again, it's kind of type of things that uh, could result in the Nobel Prize in the end. Uh, actually, both these areas, nanophotonics and metamaterials, it's uh, something of the Nobel Prize scale, and this quantum information, it's of the same scale. Uh, probably because, again, of these two aspects uh, coming together, the new exciting fundamental science and uh, applications, new applications with potentially huge impact. So the, and there is, of course, huge societal need for that to uh, to develop nanophotonics and to make all our devices much faster. And to reflect that huge uh, societal need, that uh, new emerging field, uh, we studied this symposium, nanophotonics and metamaterials, so we call it nanometa. So this kind of, uh, this fancy word, it's very popular, there are now lots of conferences um, emerging all over the world on this topic. I think that's gonna be the, one of the hottest topics for the conference. And uh, I think that symposium uh, would reflect well that particular topic, uh, which I find very important.